Hi everybody, this is Shelly, and you may notice if you've been watching my videos that I've changed the name of my channel. It was just my name because that's what's connected to my Google Plus account, but I've changed it to Shelly's Bookshelves just because um, Dive Under the Cover is really just too long to have on there. And so Dive Under the Cover is still the name of my blog, but it is not the name of my YouTube channel. So anyways, that's neither here nor there for this video. Um, I did um, a really quick uh, bookshelf tour the other day, and when I uploaded the video, it's like 45 minutes long, and that's just ridiculous. So what I did is I took my um, cell phone, which is what I'm on right now, and I just did a really quick tour of my TBR bookshelf, which is not the shelf behind me, but my lighting's really bad because it's late at night. Um, but my TBR bookshelf has 135 books on it, so I thought that I would just do a really quick um, TBR bookshelf tour, and then later on, as I start moving those TBR books onto my regular bookshelves, then I'll do uh, tours for those. Um, they're all really super full. 135 books, and I hope you enjoy my bookshelf tour. Thanks for watching. So this is the top shelf of my To Be Read bookshelf. And you can see there's a bunch, a bunch of books on here. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm doing it on my phone because I tried it with my big camera and it's just way too hard. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. So these are in no order at all. So here I have The Athena Project by Brad Thor. I have A Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin. I have Ashfall by Mike Mullen. The Vampire, or sorry, The Blood Coven Vampires, Volume 1 by Marie Mancusi. Blessed by Cynthia Ledich Smith. And I believe this is like the third one in a series, which I didn't know when I bought it. So I found it for a dollar somewhere. So, um, Let Me In, which um, this is a movie. I don't know if this is the movie tie-in cover or not, but I really liked the movie. So, um, Eyes of Crow by Jerry Smith Reddy. Sweet Evil and Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins, and I have So Shelly by Ty Roth, and a lot of these you'll see I've just hauled recently, so, um, Burn for Burn, Unravel Me, which I'll be reading very soon, this one's a big one, Stephen King, Under the Dome, then I have A Voice of Her Own, Becoming I'm sorry, Becoming Emily Dickinson. I don't know who wrote that. It's a Harbor Teen, though. And then I got World War Z. Aragon. I'm not going to pull all these out. Lord of the Rings. It's the complete one-volume edition. I've had that forever. And then I have Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. And then I have the two um, Pillars of the Earth books. And I got those just recently, too. And those are huge books. So that's my first shelf. We're going to come down here to the second shelf. And this one's a big, big shelf. So I have um, Providence and Requiem by Jamie McGuire. And this is part of a series. And I don't have the third book. I actually got these from Jamie McGuire. And, sorry... And you can see there, they're signed to me from Jamie McGuire. And then I have, I need to pick up the last one. I don't know, I think that maybe Atria or some publishing company picked these up, and that's why she was getting rid of her old copies. So hopefully I'll be able to find one that matches those. And then I have the three, um, I was trying to think of what the name of these. They're um, Avery... Madison Avery, and so I've got all three of these, and one of them is actually signed. I don't know which one it is. I got it from Kim Harrison, but I'm not sure. I can't, she didn't sign them on the very front cover either. It's like, I don't know which one it is. It's not that one. I think it's this one. Hmm. So these are young adult, there it is, um, and there's only three in the series, and I believe, I've read the first one, I haven't read the other two, but I put them all together because I'm going to reread it. I got it from the library originally, 
Um, but I believe she dies in the first one, and it has to do with angels and something like that. Anyway, so I got these two, Cascade and Waterfall. It's the River of Time series. I don't know how many of these are in that series, but I got both of the first two for $4 on Amazon. Um, it's probably been a year or more ago. And then I have Druid by Dan Simmons. And like I said, these are in no, like, order. They're, like, they're just mixed up and... I just kind of where I could ever I could fit them in. So there's no like, oh, these are all young adult, paranormal, nothing like that. So then I have two Cormac McCarthy. I have Sutri and I have The Road. And I kind of pick his up whenever I find them, even though I haven't ever read any of them. I have The Taken by Vicki Peterson. And I think there's a second one to this series out now. I bought that when it first came out. And then I have the first three of the beautiful creatures, and I have, I didn't realize when I bought this one from Amazon that I was getting this co cover, and I really wish it wouldn't have been this cover. I wish they all matched, and eventually I may go get rid of this one and go buy all of them, but I'm waiting. I just want them in paperback, so as soon as the last one comes out in paperback, I'm going to get that. And then I have the four Lux books. And I'm not going to pull out and show each one of those, but they all have really, really pretty covers, and they look really nice together, too. And then I have The Dante Club by Matthew Pearl. I have kind of a fanc fascination with Dante because of the Gabriel Emerson books by Sylvain Renard. So. And then this one, The Club Dumas, is a... the one. Some movie was based off of this, and I think I talked about that in one of my book hauls also. Um... Maybe. I don't remember. Anyways, it's a Johnny Depp movie. I can't remember the name of it. But I wanted to read it because the movie was um, a little bit confusing at the end. So I thought maybe if I read the book it would be, you know, explain things. This one is uh, probably middle grade. I got it at one of the kids' book fairs. And then More Than This by Patrick Ness. And I can't wait to read this one. I have The Moon Dwellers by David Estes. And there's three books in this series, I believe. And I picked up the first one when it first came out, and I follow him on Twitter and Facebook and stuff, and he's really kind of neat to follow, but I still haven't read the book. It looks good, though. It's like a dystopian book, I believe. And then Schooled by Anisha Lakani. I don't know how you say that. That one I got for a dollar, too. I believe at, like, Dollar Tree. And then I have um, Bright Young Things by Anna Godverson. I've only gotten the first one. I got that um, really cheap somewhere. So I'm going to start picking the rest of those up. And then Through the Zombie Glass. Hopefully I'll be reading that one very soon. And then this is the third shelf. And this is the shelf that I have my... Um, let me pan back. I have my um, review copy. So I have this first section is all for review that I've gotten for review. So I have Sea Change by S.M. Wheeler, and I believe Tor sent me that one. Um, this one I got from the author, and I did um, a thing about this in my last haul. So that's Zombie Apocalypse. I have The Curtain by Patrick Ord. A Bride for Keeps by Melissa Jagers, and, um, or maybe that's Jagers, I don't know. Um, and that one was from Bethany House. Burning Embers by Hannah Fielding. With All My Love by Patricia Scanlon. This one is Nemesis, a nameless detective novel by Bill Pranzoni. I'm going to try to, was gonna, that was in my to be read for this month, but I haven't had a chance to get to it with NaNoWriMo. Then I have There's to Keep by Maya Banks. I Love My Healed Heart by Sabrina Lacey. Dark City by F. Paul Wilson, and that was in my last haul. So is this one. Bloodstone by Julianne Phillip. I can't wait to read that one. And then I have Eon and Eona by Allison Goodman. I bought both, uh, yeah, bought both of these used. $2.99 used. It's like almost perfect condition. Eona is a little more beat up, and I actually paid more for it. I actually might have gotten that half off of that price, but it looks all right. And then I have Wake and Lullaby by Amanda Hawking, and actually... Um, I love Amanda Hawking's books. I read, I started reading her back when she was unpublished. She was publishing her, uh, books on, um, Kindle, and she has a vampire series that I just loved. But I got this one, and it is actually signed, which was a surprise. And then for Darkness Shows the Stars, Venom, sorry if I'm not showing you those very well, Falling Kingdoms, 
All three of these I bought when they first came out, and I still haven't read them. But I got this one, Red Wolf by Eliza Markland. The Passage by Justin Cronin, and this is a huge, huge book. I'll get to it one of these days. The Red Breast by Joe Nesbo, and I've been trying to pick Joe Nesbo's books up as I find them because I always hear really, really good things about them. And then I have two by Joe Hill. I have the Heart Shape Box, which this is actually the first, a uh, first um, edition cover. They've changed the cover now. And then Horns, which they're making a movie of right now. And this is the third, or actually four now, fourth shelf. So, okay. So I'm stacking these because these shelves are like, I have like all of the space where I could actually put another shelf in here. So I need to just buy another shelf. So I'm going to just pull these from the top. I have The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer, Shimmer by Allison Knoll, Wishful Thinking, Alexandra Bowen, Clone Codes. I don't know who wrote this. McIsaac, something McIsaac. I have Starters by Alyssa Price, and I love this shiny silvery cover, even though I know they've changed the cover to this one now. Um, Eve by Anna Carey, and I'm going to start picking up the next uh, in the this series, too. I've got Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and I'm going to be reading this one really quickly. Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, and I did not realize this was the second one in this series, so I'm going to have to pick up Delirium first, I guess. A Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davies. Enclave by Anna Guire. Hangman's Daughter by Oliver Potch. So this is my mostly hardback shelf. So I have The Rise of the Governor by Robert Kirkman. And I still need, I want to get the next one to that series too, which is I believe The Road to Woodbury. Then I have a hardback of The Da Vinci Code. And I wish I would have waited to get Angels and Demons in hardback also, but I just picked that up for really cheap somewhere. Melissa Marr, Graveminder. Jim Butcher, The Princeps Fury, which I didn't realize that was book five, but it was a dollar. So. Steve Larson, The Real Story of the Man Who Played with Fire by Jan Eric Peterson. Um, Love Lifted Me by Sarah Evans and Rachel Hawk. Directive 51 by John Barnes. A Beautiful Assassin by Michael White. Winterland by Alan Glynn. Peter Straub, A Dark Matter. That was a cheap hardback. The Faculty Club by Danny Toby. The Physics Book of Deliverance Dane by Katherine Howe. Um, let's see. The Painter of Battles by Arturo Perez Rivert. I don't know how that, if that's how you say his name or not. This one is also by him, The Cavalier in the Yellow Doublet. I really need to take all these tags off. The Templar Knight by Jan Gilliu. The Last Templar by Raymond Corey. And as you can see, I'm kind of uh, fascinated by Templars as well. I have a bunch of Raymond Corey books. The Ruins by Scott Smith. And I believe this is the book that the... Um, I don't know. That the movie's based on, maybe? Shock by Robin Cook. And that one's sci-fi. The Last Witchfinder by James Morrow. And if you see there, it's got a pound sticker on it. I got it for like $3. And then I have my copy of House of Leaves by Daniel Dele Ugh, Sorry, Mark Danielowski. And this is how far I've gotten. Oops. Not very far. Page 45. I don't know why. I'm have Everybody talks about how good it is. I'm having a really hard time getting into it. Okay, so last shelf. And this is all just a bunch of random, random stuff. So I have a really, really beat up copy of It by Stephen King. I've looked for this everywhere, and this was the only copy I could find used. Um, I want to get the bigger one, though, because I think it'll be easier to read. And I have The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Shadows Claim by Cressley Cole. I've started this one several times and haven't been able to finish it. Alyssa Day, Heart of Atlantis. And so this one is autographed, too. Actually, Alyssa sent me this, and I still haven't had a chance to read it. Shelly, welcome to Atlantis, Alyssa Day. I love that series, though. All right, so last shelf. I have Portrait of a Killer, Jack the Ripper, Case Closed by Patricia Cornwell. 
Diaries of the Heroin Diaries by Nikki Six in hardback. Wormwood. I don't know. Some of these are like bizarre. I just bought like three for a dollar. This one was one of those. But it's an award winner. A Faulkner Award. Um, Snow Falling on Cedars by David Gooderson. Yeah, I'm going to leave that out. Vampire A Go-Go by Victor Gitchler. And this one just looked super cheesy and it was like $1.99. Um, Born Bad by Josephine Cox. And I think um, this may have been one of my very first book outlet buys. And I think it was $0.99. Cents. Change of the Heart by Jodi Picoult. And I've actually never read any of her books, but this is another three for a dollar books, I believe. One of our local bookstores does those three for a dollar things, so I get a bunch. This was one. Jewel by Brett Lott. Um, this one was one, too. Time and Again by Jack Finney. I have no idea what this is about. Sometimes I just, I need an extra book to do the three for a dollar, so that's why I do those. And I have two. I'm kind of fascinated with John Barrowman. And he's from Doctor Who and Torchwood, and I just love him. So these are both, like, autobiography ones by him and ones by his. Well, they're actually, they're both written with his sister. And then I got Summer Island by Kristen Hanna. I've read a couple of her books, and I always really like them. I got the movie tie-in for Snow White and the Huntsman, which is $0.99. Cents. Um, Starflower, which is actually, I got this to review from Bethany House, and I didn't realize it was like the second or third in the series, so I don't know that I'll ever read that. And then Halo, I believe I got this for like $2 at Books A Million, and I've been seeing the other two books now on book outlets, so I'm probably going to pick those up pretty soon. Claire de Lune by Christine Johnson, and this just looked really pretty. I don't know what it's about. Bite Me by Christopher Moore. I bought that one a long time ago. And then I'm going to go over here. I've got Gargoyle. Actually, that's not unread, so just ignore that. Um, Sakura Blue by Christopher Moore. I've read that one. And then I have Damselfly by S.L. Nail. And I love her books. And this is the second one in this series. I just need to read the first one. I have it on my Kindle. And then the last are the Robert Jordan. It's the first three books in The Wheel of Time. I bought the little three box set or whatever. I got that on um, Amazon. So, anyways, that's my book. Red, uh, to be read shelf. As you can see, I have a bunch, a bunch of books. And I actually am getting ready to do, well, I'll have another book haul probably next week, and I'm getting a bunch more books. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. So anyways, that's my book haul, or my bookshelf.